Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today I come to you with a tutorial on an Afro textured ponytail, something that looks like my hair and probably would look like your hair as well. So you just have to choose the right hair. I'm using Darling Curly Kinky Afro textured hair and this is how it comes out once you separate it. So now I'm having the hair attached to the ponytail cap, which is... <laughs> very easy to do it's basically it's basic crocheting of hair onto a ponytail cap as long as it's got holes on it then it's basic crocheting of the hair onto the ponytail cap i had some help one of the ladies in the saloon helped me to attach this hair and i also did quite a bit of work but yeah it was it was a combined effort <laughs> I didn't do all this by myself. Basically, I didn't have time, enough time to do this all by myself. That's why I had help. But yeah, so this is basic crocheting of the hair and separating as much as possible so that it forms that curly texture. So those pins are basically there to hold the ponytail cap onto the mannequin head. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it any other way. And then we also used the small crochet hook. I'm sure it's available at not at not most shadow so or dozet A, but that's the hook that we use because the holes of our ponytail cap are very, very small, so the big crochet hook won't fit. So now she's attaching the drawstring to the ponytail cap so that when uh, it's put on the hair, it like holds very snug to the hair. And um, so casing the drawstring into the ponytail cap, one will obviously need an opening and then also need um, a pin so that, well, we'll use it. We use a pin. I don't know if there's any other thing that you can use to case the drawstring, but that's basically what we use. Not an easy task, but it eventually comes through. A shout out to Samantha for helping me with this week. Thank you so much, Samantha. I really appreciate your help. If you don't know Samantha, she's the bubbly and talkative and sometimes naughty hairstylist who is also managing the hair studio at Nasha Hair Studio. If you don't know her, it's time you know her. And then it also has some uh, combs on it so that it doesn't fall off how um, no matter how i shake my head or whatever happens i'm running or i'm dancing or whatever i am doing it doesn't fall off two combs one on each side basically for security purposes <laughs> for control for control purposes so now she's using a needle and a thread to attach the wig combs onto the ponytail cap and it's supposed to be as secure as possible so that it doesn't cause problems once the ponytail cap is worn. Now it's finished. Can you see how, how it's made? So yeah, it just draws in like that on a real ponytail and you can make it whatever size, whatever shape that you really want. This is the exact ponytail that I used in a recent video. So if you haven't watched that video, it's my Valentine special tutorial updo hairstyle video. So please make sure you check it out. Show me some love. Give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate you guys. You have no idea how I appreciate you. Now... I have more than 5,000 subscribers to this channel. How cool is that? Thank you. Thank you so much. May God bless you big time. Bye.